Hey guys, this is Roya here to talk about distance versus displacement. Now, as we learned in the previous video, position is an object's location in relation to a reference point. Now, when the object moves, we can either describe its distance or its displacement. Distance is the total units traveled by the object as it changes position, while displacement is the net change in position. And I'm going to give you several examples of this. Say this is Bob's car, and he's driving along the highway in search of an ice cream store. Now, Bob, not being the brightest kid on the block, decides to drive 40 miles in one direction before realizing that there's no ice cream here. So he turns around and drives 60 miles back the direction he came. And finally, ta-da, he finds some ice cream. And it's bubblegum flavored. Now, if this, direct, uh, if this distance is 60 miles and this is 40 miles, then this length here must be 20 miles. Let's look at Bob's distance. Now, his distance, of course, is the total mileage that he's traveled. So that's 40 plus 60, which equals 100 miles. Bob went 100 miles to get ice cream. Now, let's look at his displacement. The difference between his starting point, which is here, and his ending point, which is here, is separated only by a length of 20 miles. Therefore, his displacement, or his net change, is 20 miles. It's pretty sad if you think about it. Bob drove 100 miles to get somewhere 20 miles away. Now let's say that Kathy is on a corner of a city block, and let's say the city block has a couple buildings on it. She's at this corner here, but she needs to get to a newspaper stand over here. Now the most direct route for Kathy would be straight this way. However, if she tried going this way, sooner or later she'd bump her head against the corner of a building and start bleeding to death or something. So she has to walk around the corner like this. Now if we looked at the total distance that she walked, if this were one block in length and that were one block as well, her total distance would be two blocks. However, if we looked at her displacement, or the difference between her starting position and her ending position, we would get a length of root two blocks. Now, another way to think about this is that distance has no direction. Bob drove two different directions to get to the ice cream, but we still say he traveled a distance of 100 miles. However, displacement has a very clear direction. This displacement was 20 miles to the left. And Kathy's displacement here was root two blocks in the 45 degree direction. Therefore, distance is a scalar because it only has a magnitude, and displacement is a vector because it has both a magnitude and a direction. 